But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. My name is Wayne Sutton. Welcome to Kingdom Seekers. We were called The Prophet Show. We're still probably going to say The Prophet Show once in a while. We're so used to saying it. In fact, you can still sign up at theprophetshow.com. But I'm a kingdom seeker. You are a kingdom seeker. I know that if you're watching this, if you're watching this, you're saying, Lord, I want to walk in your kingdom on this earth in the earth to come, in the world to come, in the in the eternal. We want to walk in the kingdom of God, recognizing he's king. Hallelujah. And we are his children. You're a son or daughter of the most high God. Can I get an amen? And so I'm going to read real quick as we go through this. I'm going to read a, a passage here out of the book of Matthew, and I want you to grab a hold of What does it mean to be a kingdom seeker? In fact, I want you, are you a kingdom seeker? Do you seek his kingdom, his rule, his reign above all? We're going to talk a lot about what a kingdom is, what a kingdom isn't. We're going to talk a lot about that over the next few weeks, because I want you to recognize when you serve the great I am, and we see all through his word here, the promises that he will provide for us that he will provide for us in this earth and, as I said, in all of eternity. I want you to do something. If you can say with me, I am a kingdom seeker, I'm going to seek him above all, I want you to post it in comments below. Just write, I am a kingdom seeker. Amen. Just write, I am a kingdom seeker. Hit the share button. Let someone else know because we need to seek his kingdom together. There's the unity. It's that corporate worship. Amen. So let's go into the word. Matthew, we're going to go into Matthew uh, 6. Uh, let's go to Matthew 6. Let's start with 30. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, ye of little faith. So there were, here it is that he's, he's talking to those who had no faith or didn't have the faith they needed for their daily, uh, their daily living. Uh, all the little faith. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Think about that. He's saying, You're complaining about what you want to eat, what you're going to drink, what, what you're going to wear. Do we face that today in our culture? Do we face that? Can I get an amen? How many of you look at the month, look at the bills, and go, Is there enough money for the bills this month? How many of you look at the just the environment that we're in, the culture we're in, and say, Is there enough money? But Jesus said, for the Gentiles seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. He knows what you need. Amen. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. I am a kingdom seeker. Can you say it with me? Amen. Verse 34, therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself, sufficient for the day in its own trouble. We're not to jump into this place of fear about what we're going to eat today, where we're going to, uh, how we're going to live our life today if we're seeking his kingdom. And here's the beauty of that. Isaiah says he will keep the imperfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So if we can keep our mind upon the Lord, then we'll be at peace. And when we're at peace, we can receive revelation. We can receive instruction. The Lord will give you the next right step. The Lord will give you the people, the networks, to build up your finances so that you can take care of your family, so you can have the food, that you can, all of the things that they worried about here, the Lord will provide if we can stay at peace. The key is staying at peace that we may hear his voice. I counsel and I coach people all over the world. And, and maybe you've been here. Maybe you're here now. One of the hardest times to hear from God is when you really need to hear because you're anxious and because your mindset goes into a place of confusion. You get, uh, you're looking, you're, you're grabbing for anything that will give you peace or grab, grab for anything that you think is a, pro, uh, a prophetic answer. But if we can just stay at peace, if we can just say, Lord, I am going to seek your kingdom first. That means today before I look at the, the mortgage, I look at the bills, I'm going to look into your word. That means today, before I look at provision and ideas, I'm going to look at your word. I'm going to spend time with the great I am. Can you, can you say amen? Can you say amen? So why do we change the name of the show from the prophet show and to a kingdom seeker? Because 
Listen, the prophet shows, I believe we all can prophesy. Yes, I prophesy. Yes, I counsel people all over the world. But I know that you also, you have the ability to prophesy. Seek ye all spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. I also know that I am with you as a kingdom seeker. We're in this together. This is the culture that I want to help create, that we are fellow kingdom seekers going forth and creating destinies for other people, helping them recognize their destiny in Christ Jesus. Can I get an amen? If you need anything from us here at the ministry, I want you to do something. Go to the thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer. The thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer. Put in your prayer request. Let us pray with you today. Let us pray and minister and counsel over you today. Amen. That is what we're here for. Also, be sure to look at the partnership, three levels of partnership, two include personal prophetic counseling with me, the thesecondadam.com forward slash partner. I look forward to having you on board with us. I look forward to speaking into your life. So say it with me. I am a kingdom seeker. I seek his kingdom and his righteousness above all else. Amen. Hit the share button, guys. Be back here tomorrow. This is episode 101. I can't believe we've done 101 episodes already. So if you haven't seen them all, go to the second Adam, look on the video tab, online church tab. You'll see all of the videos. Follow us here on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're here on Facebook, be sure to follow us here as well. Seek ye first the kingdom. This is Pastor Wayne. I believe in you because I believe in Jesus Christ within you. God bless.